What's up? This is HD News. So sorry for a while. I've been working five days straight, and then I'm off the weekend. Parents were here. We had thunderstorms yesterday. I had to unplug everything because it was a risk, and so I got Ubuntu. I mean, Zoran OS, which I tried before. I downloaded early, about five, seven years ago, on an old AMD. Windows Vista machine, and it was back then, it was free now, you had to pay money, I think, so, I'm gonna try, <laughs> of course, to pay the debt off, I may have $50,000 or more in hospital bills, depending on how much doses I had, considering each dose was near probably 10 grand, or 8 grand or so, or I think, yeah, hospital ones. That's at least thinking ten grand, or fifteen grand. So it was like three, like one fifteen and one nine grand, nine grand, and it adds up. So I'm gonna pull out my calculator and see how much it actually costs because it is a bunch of money that. We had to pay off first because my mom's not going to let me pay do build a computer until I get the debt paid off with the medical, possibly the house, so for rent and all, you know. I was planning on building a Hackintosh, but I might actually run this OS on it whenever I get the ready for it, so. Okay, 15000 Plus, the worst it could be is hot ten grand. So it's thirty five thousand dollars. If you, considering I don't know what that dosage was, but it was a very high dose of factor eight. And it was their brand, so I have at least sixty grand or more in medicine to. Not including another six thousand dollars, and four of those was like four thousand, five thousand, and that's three doses because the bleed started again. And I, apparently, it wasn't completely ended, so I add about six thousand. Good number, so that's. That's, that was last year's actually. Plus six thousand. Plus five grand. It's fifty three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars I owe to just a mess and I believe. And I'm gonna to have to have Teeth worked on. I got a couple credit too. That's gonna to take another factor dose, or a couple, or if they if it's even if it's if it's worse and I need to have it removed, my teeth removed. It's gonna be this again. So <laughs> this is how much it costs. It's, if I wait less, it would probably cost me twenty five grand or more. But insurance technically didn't cover it, so I. I don't know. Aetna, for the workplace where I work, does not really cover hemophilia calls. And I'm going to have to try to get this YouTube channel going. I don't know how it's going to go. The hardware is old. I know I need a new one, but I'm forced to do the medical thing. I try to pay all that factor off with the grant. And hopefully, it doesn't cost me a penny. Because it's, it's going to be expensive, and just how it is, I'm born like that. I did have a nosebleed last night, but it ended quite quickly, like a minute or two. I, I didn't have to really put any pressure, which is good because that usually wouldn't stop, but it did, so that's an improvement. But it doesn't guarantee I don't have the disease. I still got to get tested and where we can get an appointment made. Get the day approved, it'll be off. Drive St. Louis, two or three hours. About five, six hours total, probably all together or more. Get back and wait a couple of weeks and see. And I gotta feel that Cedric thing, of course, you know, where I, I can massively miss. 
and not get penalized for the points where you work at Walmart. Just say allow that. For certain disabilities, hey, you can't technically ha help. You know, certain illnesses, they're way out of your control. It's a good thing they have that. It's like it's some other kind of diseases. I mean, it's some people have, you know, different types where they can't walk and all, but this one is a really expensive one to treat over the lifespan of my life. And it won't not get better. It'll be good at times, and this kind of reminds me how I used to be with hemophilia. How many infusions of factor in hospitals before the Affordable Care Act was passed, and I technically don't see it in active as much as it used to be with Obamacare. It used to be where they had to, they had their letter to cover you. Well, Aetna is not good rating. I'd rather have Blue Cross Blue Shield if the company will just, you know, transition next year and give us something that will actually cover this bulk of cost and medical because it's a lot. That's just by itself. I got a lot of rest in my health that are genetic that has to be treated on a daily basis with medicine. And it's cost me an arm and a leg everywhere every time I get an injury. If it's bad enough, it's gonna cost like I just said, a lot. And uh, those those drug prices are so high. I look at it and it's like I don't wanna know how much they gave me on dosage on that one night before had any factor in me when I was having to bleed in the face. That had to be awful payment. But Walmart has a policy over 6,000 you're covered, which I hope is active for special needs with this hemophilia disease that you think it goes over $6,000 or more. And it should be a lower match, my boss said. As a store manager, why are you paying more when it should be like, you're paying more for a better insurance, but the deck, uh, our pocket is not less. It's like six thousand dollars, and it could be fifteen hundred dollars, you know, or just over a thousand dollars that you would have to pay the max. After that, everything is covered in the health plan. But even with the Cedric, I mean, with the at uh, fact the Creo and all that, that probably wasn't covered. But I just pray that. I don't get bills because of that one first month of the year. That was probably the most expensive month I had lately at Walmart, and that's just this morning anyone could probably pay for sure around here on a yearly basis. It will probably take a while to pay off if it doesn't go through like it should. You know, I just pray because it's permanent. I'm stuck with it. I mean, this is genetically through the bloodline, through the family history, and you can change your diet and all of it, and with my case, it doesn't technically matter whenever it does occur. You know, it's gonna happen. I am apparently a moderate, I guess I am. I, I thought I was always a, mo a mild form where I could, I could do swimming and could do exercises on a bike and not have any trouble. No bleeding. I can go work at Walmart outside in the carts, doing carts outside. Still being golfful, but not bleeding. And apparently, this happened without aiming because the face is a, a location where it's not hit or nothing like that. So there's no physical damage. If it, it was if that occurred, it'd be a whole lot worse, a lot. Because believe me, I know the history of the family and the disease. That, you know, a lot of family around here have, and I just go to meetings about it, talking about certain genetic therapies evolving, coming to the market. Maybe it was like 10 years ago or more, but we still haven't got the cure for it, but hospitals as well as new medicines are more effective, but of course costs more. I'm thinking that it always will cause, and they're supposed to go up too as well, a lot, and that's not good. They charge a lot, and you shouldn't have to pay that much. Especially if your liver just can't handle it. Which mine can't. And it better get better. Because this is, this is horrible that I had to pay this price. But it happened. 
<sighs> Whatever. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below. I'll see you later.